How do you plan the first four weeks of training after you've had a long break from running? In this video, I'll take you through my plan. Okay, to start out with, I'm working in four week blocks and the reason why I work in four week blocks, it tends to match my work schedule. You could do it in three weeks, four weeks, uh, a month, something around there. I'd say you need at least three weeks to get an idea of whether or not the training program is working. Endurance training takes a bit of patience and you don't see the results straight away. So I set up a four week grid just like this, days of the week across the top, the weeks down the side, one, two, three, four. It is that simple. And I start with my main key sessions. For this cycle, I'm looking at interval sessions. I'm gonna start with intervals, three by four minutes. And then I'm gonna repeat this about every four days. It might jump out to five or six days, depending on how my body reacts. Another three by four minutes. Then I hope for the session after that is to be able to increase the volume. And another four. And then out in the third week, try to add another interval, five by four minutes. Now I'm not sure how I'll go. I might still be stuck at four by four minutes. This is the plan if everything goes as expected. The goal during these interval runs is to be able to run hard but maintain the same speed throughout the first interval as well as the last. hard still means hard next up we're going to add the secondary key session and for me that is the long run and the long run I want to space it out away from the intervals a little bit so it's going to be two days after the intervals two days before interval sessions same again there look I'm starting at 60 minutes after two done hopefully extend it out by 10 minutes four days again another long run of 70 minutes and beyond that, I aim for another 10 minute increase, 80 minutes. This final week, the fourth week, when I want a bit of a break from the higher intensity work, give my body a chance to recover and more importantly, absorb the training and make the adaptations that are needed. And if things go to plan, two days after that long run, get in a 90 minute run there. So at the moment, long is a relative concept. So for these runs, I care about pace or speed at all, not even total distance. So really the long run, it's about a mindset at the moment. And that mindset is just to keep moving and keep moving in a way that's sustainable. With all the time off, there's a lot of structures that need to rebuild and that takes time. These long runs are guided by time and effort and that effort is easy. As a result that pace at the moment is going to be turning out to be ridiculously slow. Now in between all these runs there's one thing left to do, fill in the gaps. And these gaps are just easy runs. So I'm going to mark the first easy, less than 60 minutes or up to 60 minutes. Anything shorter is fine. So I just fill in all the gaps. Next week, same again. Third week, week four. We're keeping the paces way down and the easy, easy. It should allow me to, one, push the pace a bit on the intervals and two, accumulate a good volume relative to what I have been doing, which is Easy runs are exactly that, easy. And the 
aim is for it to be very easy. As a result, yet again, the pace is turning out to be quite. And why so slow? Well, ironically, it's so I can do more and go harder. It comes back to polarized training. So make your easy, easy, and your hard, hard. And over time, that slow pace, well, it gets faster. You just need patience. So there's one more part to these easy runs. Strides, run-throughs, striders, easy sprints, pickups, call them whatever you want. Basically, they're just some short sprints, about 10 seconds, at max 15 seconds, where you are sprinting, but it's somewhere close to 90% effort. Don't overcomplicate things. Don't worry too much about rest. It could be anything from like 30 seconds, or even a walk back recovery, or you can space it out by five, six minutes, or anything in between. It doesn't really matter. If you start feeling the burn, you're running too long and too much for these. Okay, let's go. And there's one more element that fits in this, and that's strength training. I'm gonna to aim to put them on same day as the interval session. Now, this first week I was lucky enough to uh, go away on holiday down to Cape Willemai, down at the beaches. So I didn't have the usual access to the weights that I do at home. So it was more body weight work. I actually filled it in uh, on the same day as a long run and also back on the intervals. Pretty light session, a bit of plyometrics, a bit of body weight stuff. And then back at home, hitting the weights, the load was actually a fair bit bigger. Strength training comes back on the interval days and that's the plan for the remainder, except as we know in the fourth week, don't have any interval sessions. So I'm gonna put a strength session after that long run. If I'm gonna push the distance out to 90 minutes on that Friday, a moderate strength session on the day afterwards on the Saturday. Keep your easy, easy. You'll get more from accumulating some volume at this stage than you will from pushing the paces too much. By doing that on your easy and long runs, you should be able to run faster and harder in the interval sessions. If you're not gonna run every day, put more time in between the interval sessions at this point. You want the interval sessions about once after every three or four easier, more aerobic based type running. So if you're running five times a week, that's probably gonna be one interval session every week. One interval, one or two long runs. Remember, these long runs aren't really pushing the distance out crazy. Overall, the workload is gonna be fairly even throughout and just gradually pushing out the envelope a little bit more. So if you wanna see how all this training goes, subscribe down below. If you have any questions on my own training or how this may apply to yourselves or anything that I do explain to you, ask me down below.